Good, you're back. I was about to start looking for you. Are you ready to fight? Remember, once the fight begins, the roster is final. No new additions are accepted, and all withdrawals are marked as losses. Go down to the ring then. I'll be right there. This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. First up is Suwern of the Warrior Cast. Many of you remember when Suwern made history as a lad of 12 by defeating his own father in this very ring. Today, he fights as a champion for Prince Balan. Opposing him in Lord Heramont's name is a member of the famed Grey Wardens. In the name of House Iduken and our future King Balin. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! The winner is the Grey Warden! That was an exciting start, Warden. Sowern is rarely trounced, and so thoroughly. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving! Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entrant. This round, Paramount's champion takes on the notorious duo. The warrior cast twin terrors now fighting for Prince Balan, Biaja, and Luke John. May the stone honor you. When you fall. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! It's begun. Well, that was an exciting bout. Two on one, and you took them both easily. Are you ready for your next opponent? Excellent! Let us go! This is a glory proving. Fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Endrin. Paramount's champion has held the field so far. How will he do against one of the legendary Silent Sisters? We'll find out as the Warden faces Lady Hanashan, who proved her worth to Paragon Ashtith the Grey by cutting out her own tongue. And to our Prince Balin by fighting in his name. First warrior to fall is vanquished. Fight! Paramount will be pleased, Warden. The Silent Sister's support was a great boost for Balin. Are you ready for your next opponent? This should be a good match. You'll battle Wojak Ivo, master of all weapons, prisoner of none. 
He makes it a point never to use the same technique twice. Are you ready to begin? All right then, I'll see you out there. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entran. This round is paired combat. Just as Kiatshe fought as King Bloodlick II defending our empire, so have dwarves always fought alongside a second. Master of all weapons, prisoner of none, Bojack Ivo has never won the same way twice. What will he do today, lords and ladies? And will it win the day for Prince Balin? Grey Warden, choose your second, for you face Bojack Ivo and Valans. Last one standing will be declared victor! Fight! More enemies ahead. Jack Ivo is one of the best this arena has seen, Warden. Haramont picked wisely. Are you ready for your next opponent? This is the championship round. A full squad-on-squad -squad combat. Piot Naidukin leads the same team he's taken to victory in over a dozen Deep Roads expeditions. Are you ready to face the final test? May the ancestors choose wisely. This is a glory proving, fought under the eyes of the Paragons of Orzammar to honor the memory of King Entran. Only two warriors remain, fighting for his royal cousin Balin, the Oten Idukan has led his team to triumph over every unit so far. Challenging him on behalf of Lord Haramon, the Grey Warden has risen from nothing to stand at the competition summit. Each will lead a full unit of four soldiers to see once and for all whom the ancestors favor. You fight well, but your judgment is questionable. The throne will never leave House Idukin. Last one standing will be declared victor. Fight! We must yeah! Watch out! 
winner is the Grey Warden. Congratulations! You defeated the man Prince Trian himself once called the Horns of my army. Do you deny this Grey Warden has earned the championship? Then it is my honor to declare this Grey Warden champion of the Proving, who has shown that the ancestors favor Lord Heramont. Spoken like a true warrior! We must not You miss the life you once had, Shell. These centuries of memories you have lost. Does it miss being within its mother's womb? Do I... Well, no. I don't remember that far back. It is no different. My memory stretches only so far, and what went before is now lost. And you remember nothing at all? Not even a little bit? There are images. Faces who I have no names for. Places I remember being, but not where they are. Do I miss these things? They are without context. I feel only disquiet when I think of them. Like dreams, then. When you awake, all the details have fled. Is that what it is to dream? Then yes, perhaps it is like that. How very sad. To discover your entire life has been a forgotten dream. I am so sorry. Sorry.
Lord Balin is a bad, bad man. Yes, very bad. News of the hour. Lord Haramont's insinuations against Lord Balin reveal the truth. Shall be done. You found him. Warden, you have my gratitude. You're a bright spot in an otherwise dark time. I'm quite busy. Please do not disturb me. Ah, you return, Warden. Is there more you would know from Orzammar's memories? Ask and I shall do my best to answer. Your presence has been recorded in the memories. I wish you well. Balin is the voice of change and effect. Lord Haramont is the voice of tradition. Lord Haramont is the voice of tradition. Allow me. I could do that for you. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. House Harrowmont is honored to have you here.
Balin suspected of personally defeating. How many other forms can the Swamp Witch become? Several. Can it become a golem? Seeking companionship, are you? If it could become a golem, I simply wonder why it would not stay that way. It is a superior form. No, I cannot become a golem. I can learn to become animals, and each form must be learned anew. And how does it learn a form? Does it read about it somewhere? <laughs> it is not a talent one can read from books. You must copy a creature's soul. I do not understand. Nor should you. Rock is unchanging. Allow it to stay that way. Indeed. Yes. Indeed. What do you want? Hey, I heard about you, Grey Warden, coming from the surface. Great crisis in the world. People are saying how you've thrown yourself on Harrowmont's wagon train. I figured you'd be the one, you know, who could help me find Branca. But I guess you're just like all the rest. Power-hungry deep lords. The only real concern they have is whose ass gets the throne. You don't have to play dumb, Warden. Their lackeys only come to me when they want something. Well, if you want the secrets of a paragon, do the work and find her. City's only living paragon, and she's been lost in the deep roads for two years. Two years, and no one's raised a bleeding army to go look for her. What's it matter to you, huh? huh. You trying to find out her secrets? That what Harrowmont sent you here for? I know he's been poking around, trying to find things out about her, what she was looking for. Won't tell me spit, though. He looking to take it for himself? A little lost technology of the ancients to throw Balin right out of the picture? Too little, 
too late. But it's a nice gesture, Warden. If you think your boot kissing will get you an in I don't have, you're welcome to try this. <laughs> I know both Harrimont and Balin have been asking about her. Two years without a peep, and suddenly now they want to start looking. If you find out what they know, it might just put me a step closer to finding her. Or sit here and have a drink. It's all the bleeding same to me. Barkeep! What are you looking at, stranger? I have no daughter. Could be you met a castless whore claiming she was once mine. Oh, I'm the monster, not the castless wretch that filled my daughter with his brat. I've got a family and a reputation to protect. I'm not letting one stupid girl drag us all down. She knows what she has to do to come home. She's always been welcome, just not the brat. So tell her that, and don't ever tell me what to do with my family. Quiet as she goes, right? Atrasvala, champion. I hear your performance in the proving was nothing short of amazing. There can no longer be any doubt where your sympathies lie. If you're ready, Lord Harrowmont will see you now. His lordship is looking forward to meeting you. I appreciate what you have done, Warden, and I apologize for putting one of your rank through such trials. I am Lord Pyrell Harrow, and I thank you for your efforts to help me preserve King Endrin's throne. No one is born with rights to the throne. The sitting king may recommend a successor, but the assembly ultimately decides who will rule. Balin has lost nothing that ever belonged to him and nothing that his own father thought he should have. For us, the Darkspawn are a constant menace, so a Blight may not elicit the same urgency you are used to. Ultimately, the Assembly decides what troops to send. If they no longer fear civil war, they'll have no reason to hold back. If you want my support to count, I will have to be king, and right now, there is no sure way to get there. Have you heard of a woman named Jarvia, and the criminal Carter she runs? I'm glad you're so eager. If you help me shut her down, we can show the Assembly I am the right king to defend Orzammar. Jarvia hides her base in Dust Town, the raw edges of the city where no one lives but Castless and criminals. If you would help me in this, it would show the Assembly that I, and not Balin, have the ability to defend and rule this city. Do this, and I promise if I take the throne, I will not stop until the Assembly sends your troops. Look for Javia in Dust Town. Do whatever it takes to see that justice is served. I, uh, 
may have a cause to apologize to the sister. Apologize? For what? For suggesting that the sister was gullible for believing in things which were not real. Oh, that! I'd already forgotten about that. Thank you for reminding me. I suppose it would offer some comfort to believe that things occur according to some grand purpose. All those years I spent in Honleaf, unable to move, it would be comforting to think there was some reason for it. Do you know there wasn't? Perhaps the Maker did it to bring you here, to us. You once said that you had no purpose. Perhaps you are simply looking for it in the wrong place. Perhaps. I shall think on this. Didn't get enough of the architectural beauty of Dust Town? You need old Nadezda to play tour guide? Know her. I used to run with her. Jarvia took over the Carta not more than a year ago, and already she's got every duster with both legs bearing swords for her. Won't be easy. She's gotten real careful since Barat died. Real paranoid. She's got Carta members all carrying these finger bone tokens. She scratches some mark into them so she'll know they came from her. There's doors to her base all over the city, but only one is ever open at a time. And if you show up without a token, you'd never know it was there. Can't help you there, Selraka. The Carta members keep them real tight. But that's worth something, right? Maybe just a little... I'll think of you when I go to bed with a full stomach. Quiet as she goes, right? <laughs> yes? Why is someone like you hanging about Dust Town so much? Don't fall into the sky when you go back up there. Hey there, stranger. Six bits for a tumble. Two silvers if you all want to go at once. It's everywhere. That's the problem. There's nowhere she can't see you. Spare a coin? Two bits for the needy? Keep asking questions like that? 
and you'll get dragged in soon enough. Why do you think she goes right? Javia don't like no one asking questions about her. Javia don't like no one asking questions about her. Leave me. Don't you go asking so many questions. I'll get you in trouble one day. Javia said it's dangerous for anyone who talks to you. A human? What's a human doing down I'm here? I'm so cold. No one, no one, don't look at me! That Jarvie is a dangerous one. Don't you go asking so many questions. Get you in trouble one day. You're back. You got more business for me? Enough to know she don't fancy strangers asking questions. Only Jarvia's men knew all the entrances to her base. But I tell you, I've watched them. They go up to what look like bare walls and poof. Gone. Like there's a secret door. There's one just across the way. Watch long enough and you'll see. Now you want to buy something? Or are we done? That's what I thought. Well, look what we have here. Jarvia said you were looking for trouble. Congratulations. You found it. We must not exhaust us. Ancestors, what do they teach you on the surface? You fight like a bleeding archdemon. Sweet bloody stone, look at them all. No, Javier will kill me if I tell you. I might as well die fighting. I shall do it. Very well.
What's the password? Looks like we have a martyr, boys. More in it. <laughs> Is that head? <laughs> Begun. Who shall I crush? You should run no. all As you say. We must fight. Oh. Let us do it quick. I shall do. Very well. Fine. Speak if it must. It is begun.
Allow me. I could do that for you. It shall be done. Your wish? begun.
as you say. It is begun. Very well. Trap right ahead. I'll be Thank done. you. We've been down here. It's Very been well. So long. My, my friend didn't make it. Just one day, all for a stupid bet. As you say, I shall do it. It is 
begun. Hmm. I never liked this part. Watch out! Best be wary. Now we get our hands dirty. I see. As you say. It is begun. As you say. I shall do it.
I shall do it. As you say. What now?
So, Paramount finally realized we're taking the city, yet he still can't be bothered to send his own men. Will you pick the wrong side, stranger? It doesn't matter who's king, as long as there's a queen! An excellent idea. Boys, why don't we help him take his own advice? I'm going to wear your pretty <laughs> Right ahead.
shall be done. By all the beards of my ancestors! How did you... Where did you come from? You, you made a hole in my wall! It... it does? Oh, sod it. If people find out about this, my business will be ruined. They'll think I have something to do with Jarvia. It's gonna cost me a fortune, isn't it? I can't believe this! There better not be more of your troublemaking kind crawling in after you. I swear, this city is going to the criminals and the nuts. You again. Here to buy something, or were you just thinking of wrecking another part of my shop? Of course. Uh, keep in mind, we also take items on trade. Why does the bard stare at me so? I was thinking of writing a song about you. The statue with a heart of gold. Or something like that. It thinks my heart is made of gold. It is stone as anything else. Cold stone. 
I meant that you had a good heart. It seems to me that you do. And they call this having a heart of gold. Why? Um, because gold is precious and shiny and, and a good heart is just as valuable. Shiny. In a matter of speaking. My heart does not qualify as shiny. I kill frequently and not without pleasure. You have had a difficult life. Deep down at the center of your being, you are a good person. I believe that. Even though I have never demonstrated this aspect? How peculiar. You aren't all stone shell. There is a person inside of you. If so, it is because I ate him. Shall be done. 